kukaa marafiki wangu mm -hmm. wengi wataki kukaa mahali niko mm -hmm. mm. mm. nikifika hapo wanaondoka wanaenda mm. sasa mimi nashindwa ni nini mbaya mm -hmm. mm. ni ona social distance eh yeah. uh -huh. social distance nimejua kutoka kitambo Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think the minutes that okay, when I was pregnant, I actually met someone and he, specifically a he, he said that in Kiswahili, that pia huyu ni mtu alimweka mimba. Also there is also another close person in our lives who also asked my husband, uh, have, okay, he comment, she commented in a mean way about it, like being against it, being against my husband getting my, okay, marrying me. Haki mimi nasikia vibaya, lakini nifanya nini? Kwa sababu kuna wengine tukienda, wanamuangaria, wanacheka, saa nifanya nini? Sinikuoba mungu tu. Yemen is not treatable, all right, uh, in terms of the actual condition itself. It's a genetic condition, so you see you can't treat a genetic condition. However, you can do some particular um, procedures or something like a surgery, for example, mm -hmm. to actually reduce the appearance of a congenital melanocytic nevi. Rejection can be so disappointing and depressing especially when whatever is eating you has no known cure join me for today's episode of my story as we get to break down this story of alvin who has a rare skin condition that has got many people talking to an extent of calling him cast Eh yeah, napenda ndizi sana. Eh. Yeah. Umepanda ngapi? Eh ni mingi sana. <laughs> yeah. Leo natoka hapa na ngapi? Leo, yeah. zinyo nataka. <laughs> <laughs> zinyo zimeiva ama zinyo zijapiko? Zinyo zijapiko. Mm. Mm. Ndio sisi wa kisi. Eh yeah. na ndizi. Tuko hivi. Mm. Uko aje lakini? Niko poa. Mm -hmm. mm. Shule. Shule iko poa. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah sasa nataka kwanza na kujintroduce. Mm. Wale wasi wana ku watch, wapate kujua. Yeah. Ni nani, masome ya wapi, mm. eh, wajua kijana mpole ni wapi. Kwa majina naitua Alvin Mwaura Kangeza, mm -hmm. wa Mbranga County, mm -hmm. Ndara Swab County. Uh -huh. Masome ya Mwirini Secondary School, uh -huh. Form 4. Kwa Form 4. Yeah. Ningependa labda nianze ku, kwa kukuuliza. Mm -hmm. Wakati labda uligundua lini ngozi yako ipo jinsi ilivyo? Uh, ligundua nikiwa... Uh, Ligundua mwaka wa 2019, uh, 2018, mm -hmm. nikuwa form, form 2. Mm -hmm. When ilianza affect. Mm -hmm. mm. Ilikuwa na kuaffect vipi? Uh, ilikuwa na nosebleed sana mm -hmm. na kumwa na kichwa. Kumwa na kichwa? Mm, lakini kumwa na kichwa ikuwa hivyo sana. Uh, mm. Lakini all the time ulikuwa na nosebleed? Eh, uh, like kila siku jioni, usiku. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Kwa mda gani labda? Like, tuseme, liku inakuja like 10 minutes. Mm. Mm. Kila siku? Kila siku, si, jioni. Uh -huh. Like, kutoka kitu saa tatu hivyo. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Na pasa ndo kagundo labda kuna shida kabisa? Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kwa fanya nini? Saa, niliambia tu zazi, mm. wakasema ni venye na shinda kwa jua sana. Hospital in Leanda, like this year. Uh -huh. Mara ya kwanza. Mara ya kwanza. Uh -huh. Kambua sina shida yote. Mm. Ni venye. Limuambia mashida nye niko nao. Kaniambia atuwezi fanya kitu ka. Seme kwa hala atuwezi itoa. Mm. Labda ni, niandikiwe dao. Mm -hmm. mm. Dao ambazo walikupa ni zipi? Kwa kunayo nilipewa. Ya kuribuse hizi njwele, na ituwa vit, na kuna ya sun chroma. Mm. Ya, iyo, ya, ku, ya kufanya ngozi kuwe at least si soft sana. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, labda, wewe mwenye kabla ya kupata hizo dao, mm. ulu kuna hisi vipi katika uso wako wa makichu? 
venye kulikuwa mm-hmm. ngozi ilikuwa soft mhm mm-hmm. ndio mm-hmm. kiaza guzo na zasikia mhm mm-hmm. very soft very soft the guzo tu mhm ah na labda sana ngozi yenyewe imekuwa dhiri vipi wewe unasikia vipi kimwi, kwa mwili kwangu sisikii vile vile vizuri mm-hmm. sababu watu anaongea sana kuniuso mm-hmm. kama nikienda hivyo mm-hmm. watu wanasimama kunizungumza mhm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wanasema nini haya wanaanza kusema mimi ni mgonjwa mhm saa kusema hivyo mimi mimi naanza kuona kani kona sema makosa mhm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wanasema ni mgonjwa vipi wanasema mimi niko na skin skin cancer Uh-huh. Most of the times wao sema hivyo. Mhm. Na ni kweli? Ah, si kweli. Mhm. Kwangu nimepitia mambo magumu. Mhm. Kaa marafiki wangu. Mhm. Wengi wataki kukaa mahali niko. Mhm. Mhm. Nikifika hapo wanaondoka. Wanaenda. Mhm. Sasa mimi nashindwa ni nini mbaya. Mhm. Mhm. Ni ona social distance. Eh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Social distance nimejua kutoka kitambo. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Kwa oh, ukisema umejua kutoka kitambo imekuwa vipi? Pengine nikiingia mahali. Eh, yeah, nikiingia mahali mm-hmm. watu wanaondoka kwanza napita. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Nikipita wanarudi wanaanza kunizungumza. Mhm. Eh, yeah, wengine wananigusa. Mhm. Wanajipangusa, wengine wanaoga mkono. Uh-huh. Mambuka haya mtu akija akikugusa uso yeah. anaenda na nawa mkono. Eh. Yeah. Mhm. ndani yako na hisi vipi unapoona hivi? Kwangu na hisi vibaya. Mhm. Na na najichukia. Nikionekana watu wakifanya mambo kama haya. Na pengine labda wale vijana ambao ni warika yako umekuzungumza nao. Kuna wale ambao pengine wanakejeli pia. Si wote. Hmm. Kuna wenye wenye wanaongea mabaya kunihusu na kuna wenye waongei. Mm-hmm kama shuleni ni wachache sana wanaongea kunihusu. Mm-hmm. Nikiingia mm-hmm. wanaanza kusema ka ni kasi kutoka mahali ka kwetu. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Na wengine wanasema nilikonjeka ama kuchomeka mm-hmm. kitu kama hiyo. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Ah, na wakati wanasema ni kasi na kuwa vipi kwako? Kwangu mimi na wachana tu na wao. Mhm. Kwangu nilijua tu si sijapitia si, si mambo kama hayo kasi kitu ka kuchomeka mm-hmm. ugonjwa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. na pengine wakati unapoenda nje sasa zingine umetamani pengine ku kuficha uso wako eh, eh kitambu nilikuwa na va Marvin mm-hmm. eh, full mpaka hapa inakufunika uso wote uh, uso uso iko inafunika huku tu ah mm. inakufunika isa hivi eh. uh-huh sa nika nikaambiwa na wazazi wangu niache kuvaa kofia tu niende hivyo kutoka hiyo siku nikaanza kukua na confidence mm-hmm. mm. oh kuna tamani watu waone ngozi yako eh uh-huh. ilikuwa na feel kitu ka kuogopa na hivyo uh-huh. unapenda kuswim eh unaja kuswim eh kabisa tunaweza enda challenge mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Eh kuna this flani mimi huenda na hapa juu. Aha. Mm. Ah. Eh kuna siku nilienda. Mhm. Kuingia hivi watu waka wakaniangalia. Mhm. Wakashindwa condition yangu. Aha. Wakatokea eh wakatokea kwa pool. Ulifika wenye ulingia kwa pool wakatoka. Eh. Aha. Wakaanza kuniangalia. Mhm. Na mimi nikashindwa ni nini? Mhm. Na mimi ni mtu kama kama wao tu. Mhm nisami nili nilipanga tu nili change nika nikaenda home oh mm. like bado wana ku reject the story mhm mhm takwaje mm. kwako so uliwahi rudi huko tena maybe bana yes. yeah sijawahi so umejua labda ugonjwa wenyewe unaitwaje eh nimejua unaitwa CMN mm-hmm. nimejua nikiwa kubwa hivi nikiwa na 18 years mhm mm. sasa so, mwezi uliopita eh mwezi uliopita mm-hmm. rafiki yangu anaitwa Lilian yeye alinijulisha mhm mm-hmm. na labda ndiye alikusaidia mkaenda hospitalini eh, ni yeye alinisaidia mm-hmm. kwenda hospitalini mhm mm-hmm. jina lenyewe ni ngumu sana congenital 
melas, me, melanocytic nevus. Mm. Okay. Kwanza yeah. watu wengine wanasema ni ugonjwa wa kuzaliwa nao. Mm. Zina unadhuru melanin na mambo yanapatia ngozi yako rangi. Mm. Na pengine nilipozungumza daktari, mm. alijaribu kukueleza pengine mambo ya surgery unaweza ukafanywa. Mm. Haya, al- daktari aliniambia tukifanya surgery mm-hmm. takuwa was kuliko venye iko. Kagiza ni tumia mafuta ya sunscreen. Mhm. Yeye imenisaidia. Mm. Na inanisaidia kutembea mm. kukiwa na jua. Mm. Mm. Na oh. na ni ya bei ya kali. Oh, mnanunua mm. pesa ngapi? Yeye ndogo ni almost 2k. Ah. Mhm. Aha, na kuna nyingine pia kubwa? Eh, kuna hiyo kubwa. Aha. Mhm. Oh lakini angalau sasa hivi unaniambia haujikuni kama kitambo eh yeah. kichwa kiumi sana eh yeah. labda tangu wakati ume, umenyoa eh yeah, nimenyoa uh-huh. mm-hmm. nikakuwa vipi eh yeah, ni, ni venye nilibadilisha mm-hmm. nikibadilisha mahali pa kunyolewa mm-hmm. na, lazima nikuwe na rashes hii place ni soft kuliko hii juu hii nauma niki nikinyolewa nashangaa devu zikitokea kama itakuwa hivyo tu una hisi labda kuna wengine kama wewe. Eh, nilijua mm. kuna wengine mm. wengi. Mhm. Mhm. Mm. Mm. Ungependa labda wajue nini kutoka kwa wapi? Kwangu kutoka nijue ni wa, wa, ni wengi nimepata mm. confidence. Mhm. Nikaona si mimi peke yangu. Mhm. Mm. Sa pia ningependa wajue si wao peke yao, kuna wao wengine wenye wako. Na ka wenye wanajificha, waache kujificha atokelezea. Mhm. Mhm. Wajue si kasi. Mhm, wajue si kasi na si ugonjwa mbaya. Mhm. Mm. Na wazazi wako wamekuwa aina gani kwako? Kama na ndugu zako. Wote wamebeba tuka kama mtoto wa kawaida. Mhm. Mm. Hakuna mwenye ameni ameni katama kunifanyia kitu. Mhm. Wote wana wananikubali. naitwa Agnes Mudhidi Kangethe. Mm-hmm. Wakati niletea huyu mtoto mm-hmm. nilimwona ako na tofauti na hao wengine. Nikaona side moja iko na black. Hiyo ingine ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Mm. Na madaktari ukiwauliza wakakwambia ni nini? Ni niliwaulisi ni, 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 hiyo nini? Hiyo sida hiyo mtoto wako naye. Mm-hmm akasema hiyo ni birthmark. Na labda wewe kama mzazi wakati unaona watoto wengine wanamchekelea inakuwa vipi kwako? Mm. Haki mimi nasikia vibaya lakini nifanya nini? Mm. 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 Kwa sababu kuna wengine tukienda wanamwangalia, wanacheka, sasa nifanya nini? Mm. Si nikuoba Mungu tu. Na labda wewe kama mzazi ambaye amekuwa na mtoto kama huyu ambaye labda ni mgonjwa ambao ni sana. Ningependa hmm. kuambia nini wazazi wengine. Eh. Na sasa kwa wasasi wale wako na watoto kama Alvin eh waombe Mungu sana na wasifiche nini watoto wao. So this mark is so special to me. Uh-huh. It's one mark I love so much. Wow. Why yeah, yeah, yeah. It special? It's so special because it's rare. It's unique. It's unique, rare. Mm-hmm. It's something you'll find with few people. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Few people. Mm-hmm. I love it so much because um, to some extent, eh, it has uh, made me to discover myself in another way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so? Growing up, eh, mm. I come from a very big family of we are 10 siblings. Uh-huh. Yeah, so being the only child with this mark eh, uh, made me to think so much about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Labda pengine wakati ulijua mara ya kwanza ni mm-hmm. alama ilikuwa lini ambako ulianza kujielewa <laughs> okay. na kujijua tangu kiwa mdogo. Yeah yeah yeah. That was back then nikiwa primary school. Mhm. Eh sababu huo wakati mm-hmm. nilikuwa naona tukisoma naona my fellow students na una vinyo alikuwa na react towards me. Na una wengine wanasema msikamkaribie huyo 
hiyo mm -hmm. kwa mkono atawashikisha mm -hmm. they thought they used to think ni infection so ukishika tu kiguza mm -hmm. inakupata wengine mm -hmm. tu ukinguza mtu tu ile unapita ana nakimbia na panguza mm -hmm. see uh, yeah, so it was infection. yeah 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 mm -hmm. wengine pia i was a bright student mm -hmm. <laughs> yes I can't tell. I was. <laughs> A bright student and a bright student also. <laughs> yeah, used to be bright. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mini likuwa always number two. Mm. Tunafanya mtiani. So wengine with time, they started feeling like sika waida. Mm. <laughs> Tunajua ni yoki tuko kwa mkono. Ndi inaksa idea. Ndi inafanya upitu. What? Yeah. I remember I used to cry. Uh -huh. This a day nilienda nyumbani nimelia ni kambia mamu. Wanasema, Siso mangi, ni hiyo tu kitu yuko kwa mkono. Mkono ndi na kusaidia. Ni hiyo tu. <laughs> <laughs> Ili kuwa aje yeah. kwa kwa? Wakati um, wote labda. To me, before ni kuja kujua ni nini, mm. I, I, I fought a lot because sikuwa ni me accept. Mm -hmm. Ili affect my self-esteem. Sana. Mm -hmm. Sana. Because uh, hata, I remember I used to put on pullovers. Set us throughout. Uh -huh. Na najo kambani, Vinye kuna joto. joto ni ile ile. Uh -huh. So nilikuwa na ba throughout sweaters, nimejificha ju staki. Waniangalia mawanze kunulizo zile maswali. Uh. Ata nyumbani ilikuwa imeni affect to a point. Ata sikuwa na share na wazazi ama siblings ni wambi whatever I'm going through. Mm -hmm. So nakaa tu nimejifungia ni ba sweater zangu, nimejificha tu nimenya waze piki yangu. Last year, ndio nilikuja kujua what it is. Mm -hmm. Kabisa ndo nilikuja kujua. Mm -hmm. Miaka yo yote. Uh -huh. Na niko 20 something so you can guess. <laughs> Sita sewa ni ngafi. Mm -hmm. eh, so last year. Kwa nini? <laughs> <laughs> last year um, there's a friend of mine who is a surgeon. Aliko wame suggest uh, niende to, to cut it, tufanya surgery. So nikaifikiria, nikaifikiria, nikajuliza. Mbona tutoe yeti nimeishi na yo na ijani sumbua. Mm -hmm. Nika, nika mua tu, ai, wacha ni, ni tulie kwanza. So, in that process, I thought so much about it, venye sijei fikiria. So, I went, nika anza kufanya research. Nika anza kusoma, nini. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, nika soma, I came to know what the condition was. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, nika pata it's a skin condition, inaitwa congenital melanocytic nevus. Mm -hmm. Ya nika kuja kujua back then. Mm. Vile nilijua, nikaendelea kusoma. Nika sabu niliona, it's interesting na pia nikaona. Nikitu yenye nineza saidi ya watu wengine pia wailewe. Okay. So nikaendelea kusoma, naandika notes. I did a lot of notes, naandika, naandika. And I said, let me educate other people. About the nini? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. so I started awareness campaigns. Mm. Yeah, I started That's writing. That's how you met? Uh... Yes. That's how I Elvis. met Alvin. Alvin, sorry. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, wow, yeah. amazing. Si life, usiji stress na zile vitu nambiwa negative na watu wa inje. Watu, mm. wataishi kuongea. Yeah. Na si wate wana understand what your mark is all about. Mm. Ata mimi siku wanaelewa. There is little information about this. Mm. So, unless tuambie watu kuyusu, hawata heza kujua. Hebo ni sisi, ni sisi tujitokeze, tueleze watu kuhusu hizi max zetu. Ndiyo waache kutubeba vile wengine wanatubeba vibaye. At least wa, watuone kama watu wa kawaida kama wale ingine. My name is Paris Mwanjiko Mwangi. I come from Muranga County, a village called Getia Village. I am a village girl. I stay in Fika. I work in Fika and I am a procurement manager at Vine Park Limited. Yes, and I am 25 years old, wow. and I am married, and I have one handsome boy. When I was in primary school, the first, my first day in primary school, I think actually my parents were so scared of taking me to school, because, okay, they were afraid of what other kids will say. But, uh, okay, everyone, every kid was staring, of course, but as time went by, okay, that time I think I was still young to even realize why people are even staring. But as time went by, we, they got used to it, and uh, everything went back to normal. And uh, after primary school, and then I joined high school, it was also different. Every student was also staring. 
uh, high school in high school that's when I I started seeing mean comments I remember there's a time I was in form one I think I was actually one week old in that school I studied in Kahuya girls in Moranga uh, we met with a particular form four student in the stairs eh? and once okay when, when she saw me she actually screamed Okay, I didn't even say anything. I was so scared. I, I didn't actually know why she even screamed or anything like that. But anyway, she screamed and then ran away. Of course, deep inside I felt bad, but my self-esteem wasn't shaken. Yeah, I didn't like feel bad or cry. I have actually never cried because of it. Mm -hmm. I have never cried to be sincere enough. But of course, deep inside as a human being, you feel good. Despite the fact that you may have a very high esteem, sometimes some mean comments make you feel bad. There's this one boyfriend that I had in campus and he was mean in his own way. Like sometimes he would, he would hinder me from meeting his friends. Through, of course, he cannot say it right on my face, but he will definitely hinder me from seeing, meeting his friends here and there. But okay, eventually, when I realized probably that's the main reason, we just parted ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I didn't have any other person who would be very mean with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, apart from the stairs and also the main comments, but yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't. I love the fact that you're you're very confident. And very bold. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, God gives you confidence. Uh -huh. mm, that's, this is confidence from above. Uh -huh. Yes, and I don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And I thank God by the every single day. I thank God for who I am and mm -hmm. for the confidence that I've given me. That I've never looked back and questioned God for who I am or my looks. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful to God about it. I met my husband back in 2018 here in Thika still through a friend mm -hmm. so we were just hanging out with that friend and then he he was also in the company of that friend of mine so i think the first time he saw me he loved me but my prayer to god was always one that the the person the the, the my my future husband should the first thing that my future husband should have is that appreciate me and love me for who i am and what you pray, that's what God gives you. He loves me so much and he appreciates the fact that, and he loves the way I am. He's so proud. I have, okay, apart from my family, I have never found someone who is, who, who is so proud of me like he is. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we met, we started dating. He loves the bad marks so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what together. does he make of it? Especially the first time we met. He says that it's beautiful. Yes, mm -hmm. he says that the bat the, the bat mark is beautiful and so unique. His friends, most of his friends, were so much against it. They were always asking him what he saw in me that he can even get married to me, but he didn't listen to them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're still together. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the the meanest comments that you've had to deal with? Okay, I think the minutes that okay, when I was pregnant, I actually met someone and he, specifically a he, he said that in Kiswahili, that pia huyu ni mtu alimweka mimba, such a comment. Also, there's also a very close friend of my husband who actually had to sit him down and ask him, why do you have to marry that lady? Also, there's also another close person in our lives who also asked my husband uh, I've, okay he comment, she commented in a mean way about it like being against it being against my husband getting my okay marrying me mm -hmm. that lady asked my husband have you you have decided to marry someone from a, a, a caste person in the society exactly. yes mm -hmm. yeah how did it make you feel I felt bad of course as a human being despite how strong you are you will feel bad but the fact that my husband did take that comment like he didn't support that comment he actually he actually told me later on he didn't even tell me that time he just told me later on is it's just as a by the way mm -hmm. but the fact that i know there are there are people who support me strongly the people who support me that's what matters and especially the my strongest support system has been my parents mm -hmm. and my brothers my brothers my family my grandfather, my grandmother, my uncles, my aunts, and my friends. I have very true, sincere friends. The reason I'm so happy about it is that it does not itch. 
the only thing that it has it's it's hairy so I keep on shaving I use a normal razor to shave it I, I shave like once per week yes uh, yeah and it does and I don't use any ointment on it yeah exactly yes you told me you have a son yes does he have probably any birthmark on my son doesn't have any birthmark on him actually mm -hmm. and uh, we try to look for it but he doesn't have any mm -hmm. yes so what i would like to tell parents who has the the birthmarks don't be scared that oh you will get kids with them and anyway even if you get kids with them it is still okay but it does it is not genetic that if you have a birthmark it's definite that you will get a kid with a birthmark mm -hmm. it's not definite exactly yes yes thank you Thank you for your boldness. <laughs> thank you too. And you have a very bright smile also. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you also for Tuko for this interview. Mm -hmm. And would like to create awareness and to mentor many people outside there. Those people who have low self-esteem, those people who, who feel like the society is not where they belong. Mm -hmm. We would like to mentor them so much and we would like to create this the awareness of CMN. Exactly. Yes. Uh, CMN, uh, for our viewers and for everyone at home, uh, it's called congenital melanocytic, melanocytic nevus. Um, it is a hereditary issue. Usually it's passed down from family members to, to I mean, the young ones. And uh, it's a benign uh, condition, right? It's not something like once you pass it on to, to your young ones that they're cursed or, you know, it, ha it has it has have an, uh, an effect. It's mostly what we call um, an aesthetic uh, appearance, but we do have some giant melanocytic nevi that do have this uh, melano melanoma-like change that does happen later in life. So those are the ones that do have an, a, bit, a bit of an issue later on. Mm -hmm. So when you say congenital melanocytic nevi, right, I mean, it's, it's something that's usually seen especially over the face of individuals, but it can affect the other um, areas of the body. Mm -hmm. Most often the torso, uh, and at least about 60% of individuals and about 20% is the limbs is, as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's something since birth, or, but it can develop slightly after birth as well. It's, you see, it's a genetic condition. Uh, unfortunately, most of the people think that it is like, you know, a curse or someone has bewitched you. Uh, sometimes actually it's, 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 you know, it's like um, someone has done some witchcraft on you and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all those are myths. Okay, it's something that is genetic, so we can't really say who, who comes about it unless we do some testing. Okay. But I mean, all the myths we have currently are, I mean, still myths, you know. Mm -hmm. CMN is not treatable, all right, uh, in terms of the actual condition itself. It's a genetic condition, so you see, you can't treat a genetic condition. Mm -hmm. However, you can do some particular um, procedures or something like a surgery, for example, mm -hmm. to actually reduce the appearance of a congenital melanocytic nevi. So what we do generally is we do something called stage surgical excision mm -hmm. for, you can say nevi that are not very large, more of small to medium, mm -hmm. that may be on the face for some individuals, but it totally depends on the size. So staged uh, tumor, I mean, um, melanocytic uh, nevi removal is something that only a few experts do. So the metasurgical team is actually required, mm -hmm. or you can actually work with a plastic surgeon to actually do it. So stage excision, you do it maybe one month, and then you give it some time to heal, then again you do it. So when you do it, it's actually removing piece by piece of that particular nevi until you get a good particular outcome in basic terms. What's your assessment of Alvin? So Alvin is a patient that uh, we've seen uh, with congenital melanocytic nevi, which is basically affecting half uh, or hemilaterally the face, part of the ears, and basically a little bit of the neck as well. Mm -hmm. So we've seen him uh, briefly. I mean, the first usually um, um, visit, I actually kind of you know help the patient understand what they kind of go through, what it is, what are the myths behind it. And then we just do a basic checkup to see if there's a melanoma around it. But until you actually al allow the patient to understand what's the patient going to go through, mm -hmm. don't bring in a, something like a melanoma inside. A melanoma is now what we call a melanoma. Uh, um, it's not a benign, it's actually a malignant transformation of the nevi. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have a malignant transformation, it's basically something that is harmful to the body, meaning that you need to get it removed. Mm -hmm. 
someone who has not understood what is a melanocytic nevi, and you actually now t tell him that now this is a cancerous thing, right? It can be, it has to be removed. The mental pressure someone goes through for that, I mean, is quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So yes, you try and break it down to a person who's not yet understood to a little bit, you know, break the ice a little bit at a time. So for Arvin, we kind of understood, explained to him what exactly he's going through, what exactly the symptoms he's, he's, he's experiencing. And after that, once he's a little bit better, then we can actually do a full melanoma screen just to make sure that there are no areas that are now becoming transformed into a melanoma like that. Exactly. For everyone, I think, out there with congenital melanocytic nevi, um, the most important thing is do understand what it is, all right? What I do, we do understand from the dermatological perspective what you as a patient are going through as well. But like I said, don't worry yourself too much with what your appearance is. It's something that's going to be there, so try and build more of your personality. Do what is most important for you as a person to actually get through with this thing. We are here as a dermatological team. We try and help you out. We get through what we can do for you, all right? But the, at the end of the day, most of the help comes from you and within. Thank you. Thank you.